All right, we gotta get those bombs, my friends. Controller. Controller, please. Okay, I think we lost focus. All right. I just realized Storyteller is wearing like, freaking um, oh, there's your new mechanic for the level. Um, like slippers and socks. Like, not exactly the most like, oops, oh, it's one of these, huh? Um, you know, dramatic and fancy outfits that I've seen. That's an interesting idea. Um, yeah, everybody's seen the, you know, the jump pads thing, but this one's interesting because, you know, you got to balance your elements as you go along, huh? I think that music's a little loud. Oh, no, it's... I'm, I'm just going to leave it because this is the music, this is the level I've been recording at. Sometimes after editing stuff, I'm like, I'm used to, huh? I'm kind of used to how, huh? All right. You know, my, my own videos are a little bit on the quiet side, I, I would say, like not, I try to keep them, you know, not too loud, not too quiet, but uh, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, do you think my videos are too quiet relative to other stuff? I've found that they're quieter than, like, m videos of music, but I think music stuff is just deliberately loud on YouTube. Uh-oh. So, I got some new sausages from, uh, well, new sausages, you know. You don't really eat old sausages, do you? Anyway, I got some sausages at the uh, at the good old supermarket, and um, pretty good. Very large. They're bigger than I usually have, so I I've been. I usually go for two uh, sausages, like they're big old, the kind you stick in a ham, like a not a hamburger, uh, a hot dog bun. A little bit too big for a hot dog bun, but you know, you kind of it kind of fits in there. Um, I got a couple of those, and two of those is a bit too much for a meal, um, as I've learned. And oh, it kind of sucks when you overeat and you're like, y you can't, you can't do anything about it once you feel it, and it's like, I didn't know this was gonna happen. How dare you? How dare? How dare my body punish me? It's it's your fault if anything, body. Uh, I don't like this. What is this? At least my failures can like counteract with. Okay, there we go. Frick. Oh no. Okay, no. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, but what I really want for a sausage is when we want to. Renaissance fairs when I was a kid, they had these big sausages that had uh, all of these, like, um, oh, dead. These big sausages that have, um, they have all of these spices and stuff in them. And not like just, you know, little flakes of, uh, crushed red pepper. Not just, like, little dustings of spicing like not just little bits of seasoning I'm talking freaking big spice things like as big as the chunks of meat like it was oh, it was this really flavorful and really great stuff and um, the, the the reason it was prepared you know uh, in medieval times is because the food would be rotten half the time and you know so they'd oversalt it and they would you know, fill it with spices, so what you're tasting is all the spices and stuff, instead of the, you know, well, disease and stuff. Um, I could say other things, but you would probably lose your lunch if you're eating. Um, it was unpleasant stuff, suffice it to say. Um, but, um, you know, you get rid of the, you don't want to salt it too much, because, you know, you'll get a freaking heart attack, but, um, you overspice the sausage, it's freaking good, my friends. I, uh, 
I don't know how d does any place like sell those like could is that a th is there a name for that that I could ask my local butcher for or something cuz like I don't know what that is oh there's the bombs there's small bombs there's an instruction manual and a small mechanical apparatus I guess I can finally take down a geome let's see it looks like these are for the geome against in some planes pictures of rocks on it received earth bombs so that must be the walking one and I guess the flying one is the dragon, and the sort of seahorse slash whale one is the water one. So we can go blow up this freaking geo, like right now! Let's do this! Let's do this! Hell yeah! But yeah, I, I want... It's not the sort of thing, like, I'm not gonna grind sausages myself, I don't... Oh, it's one of those cool trees! Oh, I love those things! I really love interesting trees and stuff. Interesting flora and fauna. Um, really cool. I can see the Earth Geom in the distance. I'll have to find some way to climb onto it. <laughs> Shadow of the Colossus time. I'm sure this is safe, right? Karst Pass. Solitary and strong. Are we really gonna blow this thing up? All right. Oh, I know these little tuber things. Oh, hello, giant thing. I guess they're not, they're just kind of there. They're not even, all right, wind. There you go, huh? Oh. You jump on its head and it's just a platform. Okay. Whatever. Bye, friends. Hmm. I lost my train of thought. These remind me of like heat vents under the sea. Like those would have those little things growing around them and stuff. I think those tree things. Wait, did I see it? What's this? A heavy flat stone. Oh, Kawabunga, dude! P put that thing on there and let's ride it! A heavy flat stone. It's obviously important, but... Oh, hello. Why is there a person here? Oh my gosh, is that a person? Uh, hello? Ah! <coughs> <coughs> uh, you sure gave me a start. How'd you get here? Did Whiteforge reopen the tunnelways? No, not exactly. I'm the only one here on a special mission from Whiteforge regarding that huge geome creature. Ah, geome, you call it. Incredible creature. Sure is a puzzle figuring out how to categorize it. Seems to be animal, vegetable, and mineral all at once. They plan on turning it into a power plant or something? No, on Whiteforge, you're not a biologist or naturalist come to study for the sake of knowledge and understanding. I'm a power plant technician, but I'm actually here to incapacitate the geome. Along with the two other geomes that attacked and nearly destroyed Whiteforge, do you have any know what climb on its main body section? An attack on Whiteforge, eh? That's a surprise. I'm truly sorry that Whiteforge feels the need to fight such a rare and fascinating being. I suppose you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, won't have an easy time climbing the steep four legs, but if you can get pa up past those somehow. I saw some geysers nearby that can probably pretty high, but not high enough. Hmm, well, here's an idea. Many of the geysers out there attach deep underwater underground fissures. Maybe if you block some of the spouts, you'd be able to focus all the water pressure into a single more powerful geyser. You can buy my shovel to help you out. Let me know when you're done. Okay. Is there anything over here? Now, let me guess. We cover all of the ones but that one. Hmm. Alright, so yeah, we, we just block everything but that one because it doesn't have a cover. I get it. Here you go. Shouldn't this water be, like, super hot, too? Alright, Jane, here's your stupid shovel back. Why, why are you here? Why didn't ask, like, the most important question? Like, why are... What are you doing here? Stop some of the guys with big stones. Thanks for the shovel. I just need to sit by the guy giant the wait for the geo to pass by. He usually makes around once or twice a day. Here's a bit of root salad. My diet is pretty simple. 
Thanks, it looks delicious. So Jane, you've been here since they closed the tunnels? Yes, that's right. Moved around a lot though over the years. I'm a naturalist, you see. How are your clothes still intact? I study organisms and their environments. It was my big break. Coming on the expedition to the outer continents, countless species unknown to our civilization. Totally unique environmental conditions, but expedition was cut short before we could hardly dig in. Something about budget redistribution. I couldn't believe it. They just left you here? I chose to stay. I knew my last work was here in these outer continents. Initially, I kept in pretty regular contact with Whiteforge via the Carvold radio station. But eventually, they stopped showing interest in my updates, and I started working further and further away from Carvold. I suppose the work has always been enough for me. Even if there doesn't seem to be much of a point or greater impact. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, this reminded me of a conversation I had with Wadsnick. First learned about Carvold. Wadsnick, eh? I remember a. Uh, Anatole Wadsnick is a dead serious baby faced kid, but I suppose he must be an old fart like me. That's right, Parker. Yeah, he said that his expeditions were cut short because of what they learned about geomes attacking Caravold. They focused on domestic infrastructure and defense in the hopes they'd be able to defend against the geomes if White Forge was attacked. What? Why that little. <laughs> Men and their grand schemes. I knew something was going on that they weren't telling us. So those were the budget redistributions. It's all making more sense now. Carvold's destruction must have spooked the leadership team. Instead of trying to learn more, they just threatened what they knew best. Retreated to what they knew best. Towers and guns. You know, Aleph, I used to think they cared about understanding the natural world. I used to think everybody cared. We're all interconnected with everything. The more I tried to get people to understand my work and its relevance, the more I realized people don't really see that way. A lot of people. Everything's not the city is nature. Some monolithic and exotic ideal. Good for a vacation. Scary when it acts up. They let me have my say out of... Well, guess they did. There's no point in me taking talking your head off over it. Not at all. I mean... I wish I'd been in some of those earlier conversations. Maybe it could have helped. Maybe it would have been this, be in this situation now. Ah, well. I appreciate the sentiment, kid. Oh! Looks like you better get in position to jump soon. Geom's heading around the bend. Hope we make it through this safe, and, uh... If you've got the time, stop by before you leave. Yeah, of course, I'll stop by. Thanks, Jane. Oh, wait, it's this way. Oh! Hey, buddy. Whee! Bloop! Aw, good old-fashioned meat dungeon. I love me a meat dungeon. Aw, with meat platforms! Excellent. Now, I really do love when there's like, ooh. <laughs> well, excuse you. I love me a nice organic fortress sort of thing. Like, uh. The final dungeon in, uh, what's it called? In Legend of Lagaya, it's called the Bio Castle. And it's just this big body of, uh, the biggest monster in the game. And, uh, it's really cool. One of my favorite RPGs from that era, too, Legend of the Gaia. It's not as well known as the Final Fantasy and so on, but, uh, great game. It's had this really interesting, like, oops, like, fighting game sort of, like, combo system. Like, you don't, like, you input directions sort of like you're doing a fighting game combo, but it's not, like, you know, there's no timing. Like, it's still turn-based. But, uh, it's really cool. They got little faces! Look at that! They got little... Yeah, they got faces. I'd almost feel bad that I'm gonna, like, destroy this thing, but hey. It needs killing. Sometimes things just need killing, you know? Alrighty. I guess I was wrong about there being not not being creatures. I mean, I guess these aren't creatures like in most games. Like you can't kill them, but uh, I guess we did end up with uh, organic enemies after all. I like that little tendon holding the thing up. Yeah, even in um, even uh, um, Patapon has its uh, little, you know, like biological 
space levels. There's like a few levels where you go inside of like, I think one's a whale, one's like a giant frog, I think? And I think one's like just the main bad guy that you go into. And uh, they're really fun levels. And it has this really funny like 50s shooby doo wop wop music while you're in like this hell tunnel of meat. And it's just so cheery and great. Padamon is fantastic, by the way. They're apparently porting it, or like doing enhanced versions for uh, PS4. Uh, same with Loco Roco. Wait, it's Loco Roco, not Padapon. Padapon is something different, but also fantastic. Anyway, get both of those games when they come on PS4, if you have a PS4. Though, they're just so good, and uh, some pretty underrated. I think everybody with a PSP knows that they're really fantastic. But, you know, people who didn't have a PSP really love... Uh, understating how good of a console it was and how good uh, games like those were and it'll be really good to have those um, in way higher resolution and um, just being able to play them again just any excuse to play uh, Lokoroko and Patapon again I'll take personally that'll be really great expect expect videos when they finally come out too uh, I could technically record the PSP ones but uh, the thing is, with the TV out on the PSP 2000 and 3000, it's really, like, it doesn't upscale, so you just get native resolution on the TV, then I would have to crop it up, and uh, it'd be, you know, of course, pretty low. Well, I mean, it's natively low resolution anyway, but uh, I'll just wait for the new ones. It's, uh, it should be pretty great. Well, I mean, the remakes, but whatever. So I guess... Between finding the bomb and going through the geome, we're about one full... Uh-oh. Okay, so we gotta do... up. Oh. Yeah, I guess it's about one power plant length, so I guess we'll just find the bombs and... Uh, bomb a geome for each video from now on. Oh! 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 That's like... Constant damage crystal, okay. I was wondering what that was. Uh-oh. Doomed! Oh hey, I go super freaking lightning fast though, so that's nice. Eh? Oh, I see what we're doing here. There we go. I'm so glad these be giant beasts have maps of themselves, like, carved into their own internal flesh. Like, that's just really convenient. I hope I have, like, maps scribbled just inside my body, just in case, you know, anybody gets lost in there. I'd really hate for them to have an unpleasant experience, you know, exploring my innards. That would just be inconvenient for everyone involved, really. Messages. Uh oh. Oh, I know how we do this. Huh? Huh? Oh, that works. I got impaled by some spikes a little bit, but it's fine. Alright, just a couple more. Ah, frick. This one even opens its mouth. It's so cute. It's like, oh, I'm gee, this is a thing, I gotta stab it. Oh, it's the, it's the ghosts! It's a spooky ghost! Slightly impaled, it's okay. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, no! Frick. Oh, okay. This is the slower but safer way to do that. <laughs> Those little bulbs with legs are oddly cute.
Alright, what's the gimmick here? Oh, goodness. Okay. Okay, hold up. Need to make this one go. There we go. Man, this monster is so lucky. It has, like... It has theme music for its own internal organs. Like, imagine if you got shrunk down inside of your own body and there's, like, you know, some nice beats, you know, just, just for you, just for your insides. How lucky you would feel. It's just amazing. I'm rather jealous of this giant beast, to be quite honest. I wish it weren't so filled with poisons, but hey. got a nice exotic feel to it. I'm digging it. Oh, there's a little pocket organ there. Oh, hold up. I need to save. Ooh. I'm liking that scent there. I hope I have internal body music at least as good as this thing does. This should be the head of the geome. According to this bag, I need to set up the detonation machine and a bunch of infrastructure first. Better get to that. What, why, are, why are bombs so complicated? Holy crap, dude! Alright, the initial setup is done. Now to go around and plant the bombs, which work some later lenses and white forge. Of course. Of course they do. There you go. <laughs> this seems a bit elaborate for just, you know, blowing the pieces out of a big dinosaur, but whatever. There you go. I'm so glad it has these convenient, like, meat slots for bombs. I hope I don't have convenient meat slots. I would... That would just be a disappointing way to go if I just, you know, died because somebody, you know, utilized the convenient meat slots to put bombs in me. Please don't put bombs in me, even if I do have convenient meat slots. It's just, it's just rude, honestly. It's just rude. If you ever come inside my body... Uh, phrasing, whoa. Um, if you ever... If for any reason you are shrunk down and put into my organs, please do not place any explosives. I just really, I just really would not enjoy that personally. You know, if that's your thing, I mean, I won't kink shame, but, but, but nah, I'm not, I'm not into that. I'm not, that's not my fetish. That probably is someone's fetish. Like, I've seen deviant art. Like, there is someone out there that really wants someone to shrink down really small and, like, put a bomb into his anus and detonate it. And, like, that would be just the most erotic thing in, that ever happened to him in his entire life. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I see. I was reading the map wrong the first time. Yeah, somewhere out there. Someone out there has a, an erotic fanfic where they, like... Like, Kim Possible, or no, Aaron Insurance, like, shrinks down and puts bombs inside of his brain and he dies. And he's like, this is the hottest thing that I have ever written, my friends. People are really weird and gross and, um, yeah, I don't know, my friends. People are scary. Alright, the bombs are planted. All I have to do is use this detonator by inserting it here. And press this button. Okay, something's flashed. I hope that means it's working. I should probably... Okay, now I've got to get out of the GM within an hour or so. Okay, Aleph, you can do this. Why don't I put the... Oh, whatever. Splort! Yeah! Oh, I... we don't get a cutscene for that? Oh, whatever. And the bombs went off inside the Earth Geo. As it collapsed, Aleph Sately made it way back down to Karst Pass. <laughs> Rip in pepperoni. 
I'm alive. I'm alive and I did it. I can't believe it. I need to go back to the radio and tell Whiteforge. Oh, it's like a big carrot. I guess uh, What's-Her-Face isn't going to be too happy with me. Jane. Are you freaking Jane Austen? Or Jane Goodall or whatever her name was? Al, if you made it. That large creature said it. That creature let out such a large scream. Yeah, well, somehow made it. I'm just glad it's done. It's good, Aleph. Though it's truly a pity that it had to be done. By the way, Aleph, I'm right in thinking. The tunnel of the White Forge is active now, correct? Yeah, for now at least. Do you want to go back? Ah, now I'm getting old, and it would be the right thing to go back, tie up some old loose ends, but I think it's a bit too much to face after all these years. It could be a whole different world. Out here, this is my home now. I still have plenty of work left, but, uh, Aleph, yeah? Do you think you could bring this data card back to Whiteforge? It contains most of my sketches, notes, charts, etc. It'll be some use, you know, when I'm gone. Other cotton sentiment sure like, seems like a possibility if you're around knocking off geomes at this rate. Of course, Jane, that's a great idea. Thank you for all your help. I laugh. Genuinely hope everything works out for you. Thanks, Janie, buddy. <laughs> it's a cassette tape. Uh, that's old school. Alrighty. I think the other two, wait, no, if the C one, or no, the air one is on this continent, I assume the bombs for it would be on this continent too, or maybe, maybe not. I mean, at least one thing has to be on the other island, so let's just go to that continent, I guess. Ow. What a pretty and relaxing game. It's kind of weird. Platformers in general, you get kind of this feeling that, you know, platformers these days need to be really intense and frantic. And you don't really see too much like this. Uh, so we saw the air thing. Yeah, that really doesn't look like anything we've seen around here, does it? But obviously there's that guy. Can I talk to it? I should let the mayor know about the G. Oh! Yeah, let's tell the mayor about the geome, and then we'll call it a video, I suppose. I really want to check out that north continent, too. But I guess we'll save that for the next video. A little suspense for you, yeah. Alright, where it is? Where is the city? There we go. Imagine how much walking this would actually be. Like, I would have the thickest legs. I could crush a freaking grapefruit between my toes. There, it's Aleph. Aleph, how are things going? <laughs> Promising. I took down the Earth geome with the bombs I found in the carved old silo. Excellent, Aleph. I'll keep it short, Mayor Biggs. There's a lot of delay and I'm really worn out. I'll check back in once the next one's down, over and out. Well, it's time for me to turn in for the night. Not much else to do but sleep. Back in Whiteforge. Aww. You don't really ask questions, do you, Hamas? Everyone asks you questions and they get confused and annoyed. That is an extra observation. You are correct. I do not ask questions. This guy kind of gets on my nerves, too. Why not? Do you just know everything already? No, I do not know everything, but I am not curious. Also, I do not trust that the process of questioning humans will lead to greater understanding. Ha, <laughs> fair enough. I like you, Hamas. I'm sorry you have to stay in this jail cell. Can I bring anything? I'm perfectly comfortable, but thank you for your expression of care. Hamas sure is a weird one. Alright, Aleph, another day, another geome. You can do this. Alright, stay tuned next time where we blow up another one of those freaking giant things. Fun stuff.